everybody welcome back to my channel today's episode is Fumi's fashion police Emmys 2018 <laughs> I am so excited, I don't know why. <laughs> Baby De Salouvold is with us. <laughs> hi, hi everybody. <laughs> So this is my special guest. So the two of us are going to go through 12 looks that shook me. Good, bad, and different, they shook me. Without skipping a beat, let us go into Issa Rae wearing Vera Wang. It was a pant and a long blouse with a trail. Basically, dress and pants. I am not usually crazy about it, but this gave me life. It was so feminine. It was so gorgeous on her complexion. I like the fact that she pulled her hair back. I love the beading. Apparently I had 3000 Swarovski crystals. It was gorgeous on her. Perhaps the only little itty bitty, itty bitty thing. Baby, the side of food you want to say? Yeah, mommy. I think that the pant was a little too long. I agree with you, Sunshine. I think that the trouser was a tad long, tad. Other than that, I loved her fresh pedicure. I thought she looked absolutely divine. This was a unique spin, and I am so impressed with Vera Wang because I did not know that she would come out with something like this. Issa Rae just looked fabulous. I enjoyed this look on her, absolutely. Next up, darlings, we have Yara Shahidi in Gucci. For me, it was very 1920s. I loved this pink peach ensemble, again, with the glitter detail sewn into the fabric. And I love that rouged rose right on her bust line, cascading down to her waist and to her hips. I loved it. Extremely feminine, very, very Gucci, very showgirl Las Vegas, but in a classy way. I thought it was young. I thought it was fun for her. She didn't need anything because all of the jewelry detail was in the dress. So she could just show off her wonderful complexion, her pretty, pretty smile, and she had her hair done up like mine. I loved this. I thought she looked gorge. Then, darlings, guess who is looking very fabulous at 60? Who, mommy? Who, mommy? <laughs> Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett was in an Azinan Duster. If I ever saw a woman look gorge, it was Angela Bassett. Beautiful detail, structured, with the embellishment at the waist. She's just giving me life. She's just showing me that, you know what, it really doesn't matter about age. I've said it a hundred times, but she's living proof of it. She's 60, she's vibrant. She's giving us off the shoulder. This was one of the best dressed looks of the night. It gave me so much life. She walked out looking fabulous on stage when she had to present. And I was thrown away for a hot second because I was like, who is this? Angela Bassett, white, beautiful. I think what I loved about a lot of the ladies, they came out in pastels and white colors, positivity, great energy, adored. Oh, she was so cute. Here we have Marseille Martin in Victor Rolf. You know, I was just talking about those ice cream shades, those light colors, those positive colors, those vibrant colors. She looked like a ballerina and I thought it was so young. I loved the lilac. I'm going for purple and lilacs, as you can see. It's just giving me life. She looks sweet as candy without the toothache. This was very age appropriate, including the hair. I would have skipped on the clutch. I would have loved it if she had like a mint green clutch or a peach clutch. I think the clutch was a little too dark because black just didn't go into it. I didn't care for the shoes. I would have loved if she had worn peach shoes, you know, peach colored shoes to go in with the theme. But aside from that, she was gorgeous. She was so adorable. Victor Roth nailed it with this ombre tear dress loved it this one shook me I wasn't ready for it I was like ooh, 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 ooh. what is this this was Michelle Dockery in Carolina Herrera the chiffon was like clouds 
I wish I had this dress and let's not even talk about the peach detail that was just slashed across the bust and the waistline. It gave it personality if I've ever seen one. The sewn detail was gorge, absolutely gorge. So simple and yet so complex. It is a dress that you could wear to the Academy Awards and it will still fall into the best dress. I had my eyes peeled for those looks that sometimes don't hit the red carpet options because the actress is not really that big of a star. I am about the clothes and this was fire to me. It was beautiful. Yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. I love this. I love her too. <laughs> <laughs> you see your father is sneezing. <laughs> Baby de Salvo, Michelle is too old for you. And you shouldn't be thinking about girls right now. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> then we had Penelope Cruz in custom Chanel. <sighs> I love Penelope. Beautiful face, beautiful complexion, beautiful hair. She's got it. She's got that Latina vibe. I see her and I see beach. I saw this and I just... I didn't, I didn't like it. I wasn't crazy about it. I feel as if they could have dressed her in so much more. You know, when it comes to these Emmy Awards, let me tell you, you have the nominees and they're the star of the night in the sense that they get that dress, that showy dress, just in case they win and they come out on stage and they have the winning look as well as the trophy in hand. The ensemble cast tries to taper it down just a little bit so that they don't steal the show, so I can get that. But then there are times when you have that beautiful girl, that wonderful figure, and she has it all. And then when you put her in a dress that's not right, it's just not right, irrespective of why she's there. And that happened with Penelope. I adore Chanel, love their bags. I just did not care for this dress. It didn't work for me on her. Maybe somebody else, you know, but not on her. Ooh, Judith Light. I fell in love with Judith Light when she was an ugly Betty. I was an ugly Betty too. And she was so charming. She was always stylish. She always came into the studio full of life, ready to film and had so much jazz. And she still got it. Judith Light looking fabulous in Christian Siriano popcorn yellow. That's the only way I can describe it. She gave us looks on the red carpet. Kudos to her because I was like, yes, mommy, show the girls in the back how to do it. If you're on the carpet, give me personality, give me life. And she did. This dress is gorgeous. I wish I could wear this now. With Baby Vold in my tummy, this would look beautiful. Yellow is a hard color, hard, hard color to pull off. It can make you look a little bit sickly and it can lean towards chartreuse. But Judith pulled it off with that blonde highlight. She got it right. Loved this. So those were my faves. Let me go into the not so faves. Tracy Ellis Ross in a Valentino. It looked like a deflated parachute had just fallen on her. She lifted her arms and jumped into it. This is a unique situation because the person that created this look and gave it life was Diana Ross. So you had the teacher right in front of you. Why do you say this for me? Because this dress only looks good in motion. This is a stage dress. This is a dress with lights and gadgets. This is not a dress for you to wear on the red carpet standing still. It doesn't have any oomph. It has oomph and blasé and gadgets when you are moving, when you are singing, when Diana has all of that hair and she's pointing to her next lover. <laughs> That's this kind of dress. On top of which, it's cut down the middle to reveal a slimmer silhouette. That's when she really wants to get into the octaves. Song three, the playlist is there. Trust me when I tell you, I know this from my mama to me. So Tracy, this was all types of wrong. On top of which, key note here, even if you had the bouffant, you needed the silhouette. You got a beautiful body. You got to be, I've seen it a couple of times. You look good, mommy. 
you know love your color love your face love your hair love your complexion that honeycomb golden yellow that you give us the dress just wasn't right for anybody apart from diana ross and even with her she's careful she only wears this kind of get up on stage moving you were not moving that was the problem right here and it fell flat it fell flat you struggled with it i saw you trying to lift it up to show your waistline and bust line which we know you have but it it didn't work it did not work sorry miha leslie jones and she was wearing a gorgeous suit i loved this i love the fitting on her i loved the pants on her the pant was a little was a tad too long had too long and it gave me a toothache had this suit been white oh my god it would have elevated the outfit to class effortlessness timelessness we would have said leslie this is one of your favorite looks of all time but i felt that the sugary cotton candy coloring ooh, it became gimmicky is that fair to say it was gimmicky and I, and I don't consider Leslie gimmicky. I think that she's such a beautiful woman and I love this fit on her. Love the suit, the color. If you had given me white, if you had given me gray, yes, I would have loved it. Would have loved it. Now we're coming to best dressed men. This went to RuPaul. I was so thrown off. For a hot second, I was like, uh, who is that? Because RuPaul does drag like no other. For you to dress like a woman and be fabulous, then flip it and be dressed like a man and still be fabulous, that's that's hot. That's fabulous. And he was wearing Calvin Klein by appointment, and he had the Statue of Liberty printed on one side of the jacket as well as the trouser with bright yellow boots. He was a winner that night. Congratulations, RuPaul. You absolutely deserved it. It was a new category, and he was the best dressed for me. He was regal. I consider that to be a very hard to reach compliment when you are regal that's a lot takes a lot rupaul had it he was so statuesque he was so delish yeah loved it all righty i had two best dressed ladies yes i did two 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 Giambattista Valle dressed Poppy Delvin in one of the most show-stopping mint dresses I have ever seen on the red carpet. I took a couple of takes. My God, this dress was fabulous. Had I seen this at any stage of my dating life, this would have been my wedding dress in white beautiful the color was so captivating it couldn't have been anything else she looked absolutely feminine she looked feminine she looked so whimsical i loved the layering in the back right all the way to the shoulder cascading all the way down she wore this well it was an absolute beautiful beautiful dress she had her hair back and she just needed chandelier earrings something like mine just to set off the dress that was all that she needed and she wore it well loved this on her then we had tandy newton she was my other favorite on the red carpet so regal so beautiful this is the best i have seen her in a long time and she was wearing brandon maxwell bubblegum pink but the paler version not a hot pink but a beautiful pale pink and it just did her wonders she had her hair parted back very simple this is what i like about all of these dramatic huge big dresses the hair was simple chandelier earrings strappy sandals and you just let the dress do all the talking no embellishments no sequins no bells and whistles great body beautiful cut of a dress and Brandon Maxwell I was really really impressed it gave me old Hollywood 
That's what it gave me. It gave me old Hollywood. So that is it, darlings. Those were my faves, not so faves, best dressed. And we had RuPaul, who can be a man when he wants to be. I adored it. I hope you enjoyed the show. And I will see you very soon. I'm so happy award season is coming. It's my best season ever. All right, darling. Lots of kisses. And I will see you soon. Bye. Ula, say goodbye. Goodbye. Baby Munchie, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.